Hi, I'm Ali and welcome to the China Repair Studio. So today I thought I would start on this beautiful pottery cockerel. It's a lovely piece which is usually in my kitchen but unfortunately it is broken in a few places. So for instance I do have just a chip here so we're going to fix this chip and he's also been broken just here if you can see and I think here and here or a little small bit here as well so I thought today I would actually glue back on the pieces together which you know have been broken off so it is in three pieces here so I thought I'd make a start on gluing but before I do if you haven't subscribed before please subscribe please like and also please share and also a thumbs up and let's get going. So here we are. I've actually tipped the cockerel upside down because obviously if you're going to place the chips, you want it so gravity is actually going to hold it into place. You don't want it to actually work against you. So I have actually placed him in a fruit bowl with some fruit and I've also put on top of it just a piece of um, well this is a kitchen towel you want something like that because if something if you're for instance gluing and it falls off you know it's easy to find again whether so for instance if you had it sand or pebbles you know you'd be trying to root around with glue and pebbles and sand sticking to your item so it's a lot cleaner to just have some fruit um, where you can actually manoeuvre and place it quite easily and also if you put a kitchen towel or some kitchen paper again it just protects the item so as you can see here it has actually been broken before and I have actually fixed this middle part and we're going to now fix it so he's broken here and here now I'm going to do this bit first obviously we have two other pieces but because there are different angles again if I stuck it on with some glue it would actually fall off so we're going to have to do this one piece at a time so what you need for this is just a small bottle top this is an old milk bottle top I use and recycle and a some sort of little pick stick just to mix the glue now I'm also using Araldite and this is sort of a 50-50 glue and it is a slow release glue a slow hardening glue and what I like about that is it does give you plenty of wiggle room to keep pressing things into places as it's actually setting and I've also got some titanium dioxide powder not necessary but it does stop the glue from going yellow over time and then I have some scotch tape which we're actually going to hold into place once we've glued it I prefer scotch tape to ordinary sellotape because it doesn't leave any gluey residue marks afterwards and is easier to come off. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our piece here and we're just going to get the Araldite and mix 50-50 into it. So just, it's a bit sticky, so we just want to put in, we don't need too much bits like that and always make sure you put the lid on straight away put that back on there and then we'll take the other Araldite again open that up and then again we'll just add another another, another half the same amount in there again lid on and then this is the bit, as I say, it's not necessary, but I do like to use a little bit of titanium powder. Um, I've had this for years and a little bit goes a long way. Um, you don't need much at all. Probably even, sorry, it's not even that much. Just a tiny, tiny amount like that. And you just want to place it in here and you just want to mix it thoroughly. If you put too much titanium, dioxide powder in and um, uh, too much titanium powder in 
it does tend to weaken the glue so you want it so it's lightened but you don't want to put so much on that it actually um, stops the glue from setting so well and compromises the glue there we go now this glue will take I would like to say a good 24 hours for it to set the longer you leave it the more it tends to set so even if you left it for seven days by the end of seven days it would be fully set I will probably leave this two or three days and then I'll work on another piece of the feathers right so that's all in now so what we're going to do first is also because this is pottery pottery is extremely porous so if I put the glue on and put it on and, and place the piece on yes it would stick but actually a better way to do it is to have some water first so I've just got a small cup of water and just with my finger I'm just going to just dab where it needs to be glued so do it on that side because it's porous it's actually going to seep in very quickly but it does help because it absorbs and it helps when you actually apply the glue and I'm also going to do it on the sides here if you use something like cotton wool or some uh, kitchen roll sometimes you get the fibers with the water and when you're sticking it on so you know try to use your finger so you don't get any fibers on your break so then what we're going to do is we're going to glue here just one side so I'm going to glue this part the big large part and this part and then we're going to place it on if you glue all four parts for instance this 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 and these two parts it would be a bit like a magnet it will actually want to pull away so you only ever do one side then you'll get a really good tight fit so what I'm going to do is we've got our glue now and we're just going to just gently apply now you want to make sure that the glue is thoroughly covered the surface but you don't want so much that it's going to be oozing out too much but you do want it to be completely covered Yeah, the only thing with having pottery pieces like this which is so porous and so brittle it, it's a bit like Staffordshire pottery I always think as in it does tend to break extremely easily so you know you've only got to not even bash it against something and you know a part will chip off but they're such lovely pieces so that's covered on that side so we're just going to cover this part here now so again we take some and just want to cover it all over make sure you get into all those little nooks and crannies as well and a little bit more there as I say I will just do this piece leave it for three or four days and then I'll work on the other pieces right so once that's covered you just want to go through again with your cocktail stick okay and make sure it's all the way on the other side right so we want to take a couple of pieces of our scotch tape and just get it ready so i'm just going to place it on the side here right so here we are we have our piece here and we just want to gently find where it goes now as you can see it's got a north missing an awful lot of um, pieces of pottery in here so you know we are going to have to fill this in and I'll probably use milliput for it in the next video although saying that you know there is lots of crackles and great glazing but we do need to fill these parts in because then it's obviously a weak point so you just want to press it down a bit and then take one part of our tape and then you want to hold it down and then really pull it 
to the next part so it's nice and tight and then I'm going to move on to this part here again pull it down and then pull it down make sure it's nice and tight and we could do the other side as well and I will probably come back to this two or three times just adjusting pressing down to make sure that it's really tight and in place and the last piece all right want to make sure there right so i'm going to leave him now to cure for at least two or three days again i'll keep coming back and adjusting him making sure he's a nice tight fit and that there's not too much over spillage of glue if there is just a damp cloth just to wipe any pieces um, and then we just keep coming back and assessing him. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Again, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe, please like, and also please share. And I will see you in the next one. Okay, bye.